of Miss Quincy. Stephanie Deerwester is here this morning. We're talking about agriculture and more specific ag education. That is your platform mm -hmm. as you uh, go through these scholarship pageants. So why is it so important that you have things to teach your children about agriculture? It affects our lives every single day yep. and a lot of people don't think they're involved in the ag industry but in fact everything you wear, everything you eat, it comes from farmers, it comes from agriculture. So you need to be aware of what's going on in the industry so you can be an informed yeah, consumer. And here in the Midwest, I mean, we got agriculture all around us, so it's very important. Now, Absolutely. what you have in your lap, we just had a story about homework hacks, and when your kid comes home with some homework that's a little over your head, mm -hmm. some places you could go. What happens when your kid starts asking questions about some of the food we eat and agriculture in general. Yeah, I've had a lot of parents come up to me and say, you know, I want to start having conversations with my children about agriculture. I don't know where to start. I don't know what information is true and valid. And so I have some resources here today, which are um, flashcards actually from the USDA. And these are very effective. I know flashcards are effective for mm -hmm, other mm -hmm. study, study tips. And these are very effective for knowing um, different crops that are here in the Midwest and how they're produced and how they affect your lives every single day. So these can be found on my Facebook page, okay. Miss Quincy 2017, and I'll have a link to these. These are from the USD that you can just print off and they're pretty cool actually. So it has the crop here on the front and then if you flip it over on the back, it has a plethora of information about how it's grown, um, where it, it can be found in the store. So for, like for this, for corn, it can be found in three, uh, 3,500 products in the store. Oh, wow, wow. And that's something that you don't realize. So these are just a fun little thing you can make nice. as a, a trivia game with your kids or just something they can study every night and they can learn a little bit more about what's surrounding them. Absolutely. Do you get a chance to go into the schools and, and talk about agriculture education? Yeah, I haven't yet. Um, okay. I, do plan well, I, to do, <laughs> I do plan to do so in the fall. And I think that especially with harvest and they're going to start seeing mm -hmm. equipment on the roads, it's going to be a good time to kind of let kids know what's going on around them and, and how it affects their food. All right. Well, Stephanie, thanks so much for coming in. We're not done with her yet. We're going to have more with her coming up, I think, after this commercial break, mm -hmm. which we'll be back from right after this. We're back with Miss Quincy, and uh, we are now talking about uh, the 60th. I cannot believe it's been 60 years. I know. Uh, now, you both have ties to this event, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's both our hometowns. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, so I'm the one that needs to get filled in here. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it is the Paloma Fiesta, and it's, it's, it's really just a great event for the entire family. And you guys are having some new things this year. We are expanding it. We're going all out for our 60th anniversary. We have Zian and Magic coming in to do a magic show, which is kind of the highlight. We also have a band. We have a, a monster truck smash with a car. There are so many cool things that you're going to want to come early and stick around all day. So how many people are in Paloma? It's a pretty small town. It's, I'm not even sure the population of the sign, is it? It's it's not. It's actually, <laughs> I think around 150 people are in town. So, so this seems like a pretty big festival for such a small community. Yeah, we probably yeah. quadrupled the population in Paloma on this night. <laughs> oh, so. absolutely. Easy. Yeah, And I love how the games have evolved over the years. When I was a kid, we had the dunk tank and we had, we, we took a hay bale yep. and we ripped it apart and we used to find pennies in, oh, in the bottom of it. Yeah. So. I don't so, see that on here. It's a little bit more advanced <laughs> they, now. They cut that one out. <laughs> no, and so, so, Stephanie, what's going to be your role then at the Fiesta? Well, I'm going to be involved in the baby contest. So if you have any young kids, you certainly want to get them involved. I'll be present for that, for pictures and autographs. Mm -hmm. I'll also be performing my Miss Illinois talent on stage at about 6.30. So if you want to see that and see a, a karate routine, I'll be performing that as well. Okay, excellent. And um, this starts at about 4.30. Mm -hmm. So folks can really spend the entire afternoon and evening mm -hmm. there because you guys also serve dinner. Yes, and dinner is kind of what we're known for. So we have, I believe, buffalo, catfish, chicken. We have a huge feast. It kind of brings the whole community together and it's a really good time. That's right, and the weather's going to cooperate, it looks like, for the weekend. Wonderful. Generally, it is so hot. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> but uh, this weekend, not so hot. And all of the money that's raised from this event benefits the community club, is that correct? Yep, and the community club just kind of puts on events and, and keeps the community together, so it really helps us throughout the year. Okay, and Paloma is not that big, but if people <laughs> need to find where to get to it in town, how should they... Um, it's right off Highway 24, so if you start heading east on Highway 24, you'll run right into it, and then you'll see all the cars in one area of town. It's not hard to miss. That's right. Just turn. If you know where the diner is, just mm -hmm. turn to the diner. Yep. <laughs> Great. Well, we want to thank Stephanie for joining us. And the Paloma Fiesta, that's on Saturday. That's this weekend. Yes. Yep. Coming from, right up. All right. That's coming up. Good. Well, we'll get our fiesta on. Uh, we're going <laughs> to come back in just a few minutes. You're watching KHQA this morning. We'll see you in a few.